Hi, it's Mr. Anderson, and this is a mini lesson on developing and using models, level three modeling causal accounts. You can see since there's a whiteboard in here that we're gonna be doing some drawing a little bit later. And so anytime you're creating a model, you're creating a representation of a phenomena that exists in the world. In this video, we're gonna dig into models that really account for the causation or the causal accounts of phenomena. And so as we think about the parts of a model, it's really gonna be two parts. There's gonna be the model portion, which we'll, which we'll get to in just a second. And then there's gonna be that causal account or the, the causation of the model. So as always in a model, the first thing you wanna do is you want to identify the important components and relationships. We'll then come up with a causal account and then we can use that causal account to make a prediction. After watching this video, you should be able to model causal accounts in phenomena like a music box or a total solar eclipse. But I'm gonna start by showing you how to build causal account models for a simple four gear board. And then we'll do this one together, how a can opener opens up a can. So let me clean this up and we'll get started. So for the first phenomena, we're gonna use this four gear board. And so you can see if I turn the gray gear, the other gears are going to move. Lots of times you really wanna investigate a model or a phenomena. So when I remove the yellow, that moves. And when I remove the orange gear, the blue gear still moves, which kinda hurts your brain maybe the first time you've seen it. And so there must be more going on in the phenomena than meets the eye. And so if I turn it over, you can see that there is a hidden gear. So you've got a, hit, a gray gear, a hidden orange gear, and then there's going to be this hidden blue gear. And you can see that that corresponds to the orange and the blue gear up on top. So the first thing we want to do is we want to identify the phenomena. So the first thing I've done is identify the phenomena, which is this four, and I put that in quotes, a four gear board, because there are actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven gears in, in this board. And so the first thing we want to do is we want to identify the components. And so the components are going to be the parts of our model. Since this is a causal model, we really want to get to the causation. It'll be way easier if we identify all those components as events or things that take place. And so let me list all those out here. Okay, so the components that I have, these first four are all the ones that you can see on the top. The gray gear turning, the orange gear turning, the yellow gear turning, and the blue gear turning. And then these next one I wrote are the hidden gears. So if we turn that over, that's gonna be the hidden gray gear turning, the hidden orange gear turning, and the hidden blue gear turning. So these are all the components. And you can see since I wrote those as events, it'll be really easy to say, for example, the gray gear turns the orange gear. And so what I'm gonna now do is put those on our whiteboard and then we'll start working on the relationships. Okay, now I've got those all organized. And when I'm doing this, I try to organize it so it looks kind of the same way as the phenomena. So we've got the gray gear turning, the orange gear turning, the blue gear turning, and the yellow gear turning. So once I have that organized, the next thing I wanna do is just define what are all the relationships between those events. Okay, since this is a causal account, all these arrows just move in one direction and that means that there is a cause. So the turning of the gray gear causes the orange gear to turn, but on my model it also causes the hidden gray gear to turn. And so now I've got the, the two main parts of a model. The next thing I have to do is then I have to write out a causal account. A causal account is all the causes and mechanisms within the phenomena itself. So it's basically a summary of all the causation. Let me show you what that would look like. So for my causal account, what I said is turning the gray gear, so that would be this gray gear, causes all other, 
all six other gears to turn. So it's just a summary of the causal accounts and then we can see that in the model itself. And so the last thing we have to do is then make some kind of a prediction. So that's the whole point of models is once I have uh, the model like this, then I can just make predictions. What happens if I take some of these out or if I add some? So let me show you an example of a prediction. Okay, so the prediction I've made is if all the orange gears are removed, the blue gear won't turn. And so the nice thing about a model is I could physically take this out. So if I take this out, the orange gear and the hidden orange gear, then you can see the gray gear will turn the hidden gray gear, but it won't be able to cause a change in the orange gear and that won't cause a change in the blue gear. Also, we wouldn't have movement in the hidden blue gear as well. Um, as I look at my model now, I start to see uh, let's see. Yeah, that's perfect. So also I wouldn't have movement in the gray gear as well. So that's the power of a causal model. It allows you to show all the causal relationships and then make predictions. So what I'm going to do is clean this off and then I'm going to give you one that you can work on. Okay, for the next one, we're going to use a can of tomatoes and then a can opener. Uh, if you've never used a can opener, you may want to kind of grab one and try this out. You put this on the side of a lid and then when you squeeze the arms together, it cuts the lid. And then as you rotate the knob, as you rotate the knob, it's going to just spin the can around and cut it. And so what I'd encourage you to do now is pause the video identify the phenomena, the components, relationships, causal account, and prediction. If you want to use the slides below, you can do that. Then unpause the video and come back and we'll see how our models compare. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to identify the phenomena. So the, the phenomena is opening a can with a, a can opener. You then want to think through all of the components. And so remember, as we're doing causal accounts, those have to be events that occur. And so let me kind of walk through this and list all of those. Okay, the big components that I wrote down are number one, you do this arm squeezing and as you squeeze that it holds the can in place and also it cuts the can with, I'm calling this the cutting wheel up here. So that's the next thing. Then I thought the next event is that the knob is going to be rotated. That rotates the gears in the can opener and now the can and the lid rotate. So once I've got that, the components that I want to include in my model, the next thing I want to do is sketch out the relationship. So let me do that. Okay, so on the, my model, I tried to put it in order. First thing you do is you squeeze the arms together. That holds the can in place, but it also allows the cutting wheel to cut that lid. So that's the first thing that happens. And then the second thing that happens is you no rotate the knob. And so rotate the knob, that rotates the gears, and then the can and the lid rotate. And I may want to write um, so that both one and two have to take place. So you can't just do one and then the other. And so now I've got my components and I've got my relationships. The next thing I want to do is write a causal account. So let me do that. So what I said is rotating the knob. So that's right here. Well, first squeezing the arms together causes the cutting wheel to cut open the lid. And that's kind of at the center of these two kind of causal loops. So now that I've written down a causal account, the last thing that I have to do is write a prediction. Okay, so the prediction that I wrote is if you don't continue squeezing the arms, so that would be right here. If you don't continue squeezing the arms while rotating the knob, the can will fall off because this 
squeezing the arms holds it in place and then the lid won't open because you won't able to cut it with the cutting wheel. So that is my causal model. So it has all these, remember arrows are gonna be causation. So now that you've done that with this, I would encourage you to try one of the ones below. We have slides for a causal model in just a music box and then a causal model for a total eclipse. And so those are causal models. Uh, the only thing you can get tripped up on is if you don't write down events as the components, but then it's simple. Just connect it with arrows and I hope that's helpful.